There was a man who spent his life studying and working hard, went to college, got his master's degree, became a man who was serious about business and serious about accomplishing things in his life. This man was a shrewd man, a good businessman, a man who if you ran up, in, up to him and saw him and looked at him, you would say, this is a formidable human being, a strong man, a man who is a captain of industry, a man who demands respect and his, the way he carried himself and the way he spoke, he constantly and totally was very clear that he was in charge. He had a strong reputation. People around him respected him. And he lived his life this way. And after years of accomplishing and gathering great wealth for himself, This man, who had some semblance of connection to the faith, who would pay lip service to the fact that he believed in God and that he uh, uh, was trying to be a moral person. This man, after years of accomplishment and, and accolades from his co-workers and from his industry and gaining great wealth and gaining great respect, this man came to the end of his life and he was afraid. You see, it had spent his life preparing to live this life. And in desperation, he called the priest to come and hear his confession. And the man poured his heart out to the priest. The man told the priest the things that he had done and the things that he hadn't done. And not once did he mention he wished he'd have, gained, he'd have, he'd have made another million dollars. Not once did he mention he wished he would have won another award from his industry. Not once did he mention he wished he had more time to complete this business project or that educational goal. Not once. Instead, the man's heart was broken over what he failed to prepare for. And in the last twinkling moments of his life, he regretted not taking care of his children. He regretted not paying attention to his relationships. He regretted not spending more time just relaxing. He regretted not focusing his life on his faith. All of the things this man regretted, he could have done while he was living. But the blindness of his inattentiveness and his Missing the truth of what is really important brought him to the end of his life willing to give every accomplishment he had ever made, every dollar he had ever made, every award he had ever won for one more moment to reorient his life towards that which is eternal. This sounds like a fire and brimstone sermon. It is. Because, my angels, the book is out. The Triodion begins. The Sunday of the publican and the Pharisee is upon us. And God's love for you once again invites you to take seriously your faith and stop Spending the precious moments of your life on that which is not eternal. 
The Pharisee in his blindness and in his self-centeredness prays to himself, the Bible says. Isn't that interesting? We're talking to God, but he is praying to himself. Because every word he says begins with the phrase, I, God, I thank you that I am not like these other men, bad guys. And especially not like this tax collector here. I do all of my religious stuff focused on myself. Doing all the right things. For all the wrong reasons. And coming to the end of his life. This Pharisee leaves the temple doing religious things. Praying religious prayers. He tithes. Oh, by the way, follow his example. But don't do it for the reason he's doing it, okay? He tithes everything, even to the spices in his spice rack. That's pretty serious. He gives us a litany of his righteousness, and it's his. Whereas the publican wouldn't even lift his eyes up. Because you see, brothers and sisters, the purpose of Great Lent in the Orthodox faith isn't about you stopping eating double beef whoppers with cheese. That's not what this is about. It isn't about you not you know, making sure you check the label to make sure that's soy. It isn't about that, folks. It's not what you're giving up. It's what you're focusing on. And this morning, as we step into the outskirts of Great Lent, as we prepare ourselves, by getting ready for the Feast of Pascha. Brothers and sisters, lay aside the pretense and the frivolity of your life focused on that which is too small. And instead, turn your eyes and your judgment and your critical spirit and your quick to notice the other things that other people are doing wrong Turn that laser-like wisdom to your own heart. And drop the pretense of being a good person because you're not. You're not! If it makes you feel any better, neither am I. You are an indebted person. To a God who's loved you so much that He's given you another tick of the clock, another beat of your heart, another lung full of air to finally wake up to that which is most important and lay aside the, the, the pretense and the fantasy of your own illusion about yourself and learn to be honest with yourself. But an honesty that doesn't drive you to despair, but an honesty that drives you to beat your breast and say to the only one who has remedy for you, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Haven't we wasted enough time? Haven't we been focused on too small of things long enough? Haven't we allowed our lives to be poisoned by bitterness or anger or disappointment or disillusionment over expectations that haven't been met that were never reasonable in the first place? And isn't it time to step into great Lent willing to be honest with yourself? about yourself and keep your eyes on your own plate and deal with your own sin. I pray, brothers and sisters, that with all due respect, you will pray for me that I'll be able to do that. Because my angels, nobody coming to the end of their life is going to ever regret 
being honest with yourself and God. No one. You will not be disappointed. You will go down to your house justified. While the man gripped by the facade that he's created in his mind about himself. Will bear his sins still. It is the Sunday of the publican and the Pharisee. Which one are you? And do you have the courage to do something about it? We'll see. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for watching. I pray this was a blessing to you. If it is a blessing to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos. It really does help us a great deal. Speaking of helping us, if you'd like to support this media outreach, go to our Patreon site at Faith Encouraged on Patreon.com. You can also visit us at our website at faithencouraged.org and write me at frbarnabas at faithencouraged.org. I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you.